I am not a whore. I am not a whore. I am not a whore. What's up guys, it's boy Rolex here with M40 Media, and today I have a free-for-all commentary on MW2. The map is Salvage. I am using the TAR-21 with puke camo, uh, which is fall by the way. It uh, looks like puke. I'm using Claymore's Stuns, Scavenger Pro, Scavenger Pro, Cold Blair Pro, and Ninja Pro. And I'll be talking about uh, why I'm using this class and why the hell I'm using claymores and um, also my kill streaks are um, basically I, I I call them personal kill streaks uh, UAV um, counter UAV I mean um, predator and harrier so let's get to the gameplay uh, the reason for the tar 21 um, I have it silenced this gun is literally beast um, the iron sights are very good, and, you know, it it really does, it's kind of like the AK. It doesn't need, you know, stopping power um, to, you know, kill somebody. It's it's a very uh, powerful gun, and it has a good rate of fire, and that's why I picked this gun out of any other gun that's on this game. Um, also, uh, I am using Claymores for one reason, one reason only, um kids run around with marathon lightweight and uh, you know commando and I that's completely stupid so I set this up and I'm more or less you know I keep to a uh, basically like a camping style on this game but more or less not a camping style um, I just you know play tactically and try to you know kill as many people as I possibly can so I can get my kill streak to help me out more so then I can win the game um, you know and I just got a kill right there with my claymore, just for an example. Um, so, uh, the main reason why Scavenger Pro is used is the gun will automatically start out on Scavenger Pro with 180 bullets, and that's what every gun, and instead of the 60 bullets that usually starts out with it, which I think is bullcrap, but whatever. And um, then I could pick up more claymores and stuff on the way. So then I could set up my position because you only get you know one claymore, one C4, I guess you know per uh, per player, you know per you know equipment, whatever. And um, cold blooded, a lot of people you know they send me comments and you know a lot of people even on live they're like, why the hell do you use cold blood? The air support, uh, air support on MW2 fails. So I use uh, I use cold blooded to my advantage. So I don't die by the airstrikes and you know the harriers and all that other stuff. And so then I can keep ranking up with you know kills and I can you know st you know stay avoided from dying by other people's you know harriers and then possibly giving them a nuke or a uh, attack helicopter. So I mean not an attack helicopter, a chopper gunner. All right, so um, you know. Ninja Pro, that's, I really don't even need to, you know, commentate on Ninja Pro. You should have Ninja Pro on everything, literally. Um, you know, a lot of people that probably, you know, is watching this video right now, you probably just got into gaming and you don't know about, like, gaming headsets and all that new stuff. And, you know, basically with just a $60 pair of Turtle Beaches, you can hear somebody uh, literally across the map. You can hear their footsteps. So, um, you know, Ninja Pro is a must, especially on MW2 and even on Call of Duty 4 and I any other game. Um, so my kill streaks, the main reason why I say I use them for you know uh, personal kill streaks, I have counter UAV and I use that to my advantage by um, you know keeping the other team by uh, the other team or my you know opponents in free for all from you know seeing me on the radar but see I don't I don't have that problem on um, this game here because I'm using cold blood and I'm using a silenced weapon but what if I was using you know a UMP with a holographic and I was using you know stopping power you know I would come up on the radar like a sore nail you know what I'm saying like straight up I would shoot somebody, a lot of people, they pay attention to their radar, just like me. I always pay attention to, to you know, red marks just popping up 
so I could check around my area. And I was taught this from a friend, um, you know, when I was starting, you know, sniping and stuff. And, uh, you know, that helped me out a lot. And so, uh, a lot of people, you know, they'll pay attention to their radar. So, you know, the main reason for counter UAV is for that also. But on this game, the reason why I have um, counter UAV with the cold blooded is so that. Hold on, knife kill, bitch. Um, but okay. Main reason why I've got cold blooded in this one, uh, along with the counter UAV, is because my second perk is predator missile. And say if I called in a counter UAV and then I got one kill afterwards, which would be a predator, I could call that in, and you know the people that show up on the predator drone, they wouldn't even know where the hell I am. You know what I'm saying? Because your your you know your HUD at the top your little you know radar at the top it goes all you know static and stuff when you have counter UAV so I use that to my advantage also and uh, I also use you know surprisingly I use Harrier to my advantage and a lot of people are like how the hell do you, you how the hell do you use uh, Harrier to your advantage in free for all and you know because I play in a tactical way kind of camping kind of way on um, MW2. A lot of kids they'll go directly inside. Um, it, they'll go directly inside if I call in a har uh, a harrier or something like that. So or or they'll try to you know shoot it down. So a lot of kids they'll more or less be paying attention to the sky and they'll more or less you know be inside the buildings and stuff. So that like if I don't have a UAV or if I don't have like any way of knowing where people are gonna go. Basically, I call in my Harrier, I go inside of a building, I plant my claymores and stuff, and I wait for people to come. And then if nobody's coming inside that building, I look around to see if people are, you know, trying to shoot it down with a Stinger or, you know, uh, AT4 or whatever the hell they're trying to shoot it down with, and I'll try to take them out. So every one of my kill streaks and stuff I kind of use to my advantage, and uh, I think you sh uh, y you guys should also... And I think it would help you out to become like a better gamer. Um, so the ah, wow, I can't even talk. This commentary is you know kind of getting toward the end. So basically, I'm gonna end it. Um, I just want to say before I end it, I'm starting a new channel, and I'm gonna strictly keep all my game reviews and um, you know my little gameplay on different games and stuff on that channel and that channel's name will be gaming with Rolex and that will be starting up here pretty soon I'm still gonna be M40 Media's commentator but I'm gonna keep all the sniping MW2 and the tactics and all that good stuff um, on M40 Media and I'm gonna keep my game reviews on gaming with Rolex so um, you know, stay tuned in to my channel and M40 Media. Send your top five plays clips and a message to M40 Media. Subject the message as top five plays clips. Add your gamer tag and a brief description of what the clip is and which game it's on. All right, guys, this has been a free for all commentary with Rolex. Peace out.